Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 260. Today we have a 2020-2021 mixer. Uh, we've got a similar mix to yesterday where we had uh, series one, uh, series one retails, series two hobby, extended hobby, and then instead of two premier, we have a Skybox Metal Universe hobby and a premier. So this is uh, from bo this is another box from the same case that we did yesterday. So uh, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into the team randoms. Three times on the names, three times on the teams. Who you line up with is who you get. And just before we get fully into the randoms, um, just a reminder that the all-star game cards in um, extended, uh, extended in particular, and also metal, I guess, because of metal, um, there are the all-star game cards as well. Those are technically based short prints. Uh, they will go to the team that they were representing in that all-star game, which is essentially the team on their jersey just works out like that because um, it mentions a specific all-star game. So here we go. Three times, once, twice, third time. And I guess there is a chance of Team Canada stuff, but again, Team Canada stuff goes to current team. So teams three times. Once. Twice, third time. All right, here are your teams. Steven, you've got the Flyers. Uh, Dennis with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Kevin with the Kings, that's Kevin Dorish. Uh, Bill with the Flames. Adam with Columbus. Kevin uh, Aranjo, I'm, hopefully I'm getting that correct. Uh, with Dallas Marshall with the Ducks, Kevin Mayer, lots of Kevins with the with the Devils, uh, Graham with the Bruins, uh, Ryan, you've got the Leafs, uh, Kevin Dorish with the Sabres, I'm just gonna go Kevin D, Kevin A, and if there's any other Kevins, I'll just do initials, Adam with the Yotes, uh, Waylon with the Rangers, Kevin A with Chicago, Fotis with Vancouver, Kevin A with Carolina and the Oilers, Johnny Chan with the Senators, Kevin A with the Capitals, Paul, you've got the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, Gia, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly as well. Again, if at any point I mispronounce your name, please let me know so I can get it correct. Um, you've got the Islanders. Adam with the Predators. Uh, Ryan with the Jets. Steven with the Sharks. Adam with the Blues. Um, Andrew with the Avalanche. Aaron with the Red Wings. Um, uh, Mikhail with the uh, Wild. Kevin A with the Panthers. Kevin McCowan, so Kevin M with the Vegas Gold Knights, and Kevin A with the Habs. Perfect. All right, I'll get, and then the team view. And I've got to go turn my tap off because you're just talking about cats, and my cat loves her fresh tap water. So I'm just put a little stream on for her and. She drinks it, and that way we know she drinks it. She used to have a fountain, but she didn't drink out of it for a while. So we kind of took that away. There we go. Should be correct. So, all right, I'll be back in two seconds. more minutes for trays all seconds because don't really think we'll get one but we'll go break order we'll go retail uh extended series two metal premiere so <laughs> bill i mean it's not natural for you but it happens a lot <laughs> maybe it's a sign maybe you need to start cheering for the flames and then you'll get the oilers and breaks could you imagine? Just be like, yeah, I have to cheer for this team because whenever I cheered for the other team, I'd get them in group break, so I gotta cheer for the team I hate. Do 
Here, I got a, uh, I got one of those, it's ironic, because, like, I, I don't know where I got it from, but, like, one of the flames, like, mock cup rings right beside, uh, <laughs> right beside everything. <laughs> Just like, wait, that's a flames one. So, I think it was through a trade at, like, a sports hair show or something, there's a guy that needed a bunch of singles and stuff from series one and just helped him out and he just like take one and it's like oh i don't really have a use for it but okay so just kind of sat around for a while all right don't see anything happening trade buys let's get into the break let's see if series one treats us as nice as uh as yesterday there we go <laughs> hey, you could you could color it Oilers colors. See how series one does. What's changed in the hockey world since last night? Not a ton. Honestly. I guess there's games going on right now. Some big actually lots of big games tonight. Uh let's hope we see, you know. I want to see the playoff race get a little bit more interesting in the West. So you know. Naturally, that means Louis Erickson's going to put up, like, six points tonight, and the Coyotes are going to beat the Canucks by, like, a wide margin, because, of course. Could you imagine if Louis Erickson just has the game of his career tonight? Goes full Sam Gagne. All right. Here we go. Starting off with the base pack. Again, there are base packs in Series 1 retail. Uh, Harkins for the Jets on the Young Guns. Uh, there's not a ton of variations, and they're really, really obvious. Connor for the Jets. There we go. Dazzlers up Panarin for the Rangers. But yeah, like I was saying, there's not a ton of variations, um, and they're really easy to pick out. They're super rare. Vasilevsky for the Lightning. Joseph for the Penguins on the Young Guns. So it's like the Laugh Draft variation. Um, what else is there? Uh, like ceremonial puck drops maybe, and then uh, day with the cups. And those are so hard to pull. Uh, Mikey Anderson for the Kings. Yossi for the Predators. But we should be due, so that's another base pack. Oh, sweet. oh we might have got one early on. Norris for the Senders on the Rookie Portraits. Now that I think about it, we might have actually Harley for the Stars. Ah, uh, four Young Guns. Take that. Harley's, like, like all the Young Guns there were solid. They're not, like, the best players, but they're good. They're all, I mean, Mikey Anderson's pretty, pretty solid. Joseph's got some potential. Harley looks decent. And Harkins is, like, they're all NHLers. They're not players that won't have long careers type of thing. Like, they'll have careers. So. They may not be your A-list players, but that's fine.
Yeah, there's apparently talks that Black might be a scratch for the Rangers in the playoffs. And, like, honestly, I, again, I know a lot of people are, like, have soured on Laugh a lot, but, like, don't give up on him. Like, A, he's a useful NHL player. Like, like he's serviceable now. And be like, a player with that good of, like, underlying numbers, like, heading into their draft is normally pretty solid. So, he did miss a key year of development, which kind of sucks, but... All right, here we go. Base pack. Jersey card of Evander Kane. Patch ready for Vegas on the canvas. Craps off for the Rangers. A little chagrin for the Leafs. Base pack. Gonna make sure. Make sure no cards stuck there. Nope, nothing stuck. So. Yeah, hopefully everyone's having a good day. Hopefully everyone's having a good week. I know it's a long weekend soon, so. Ingram for the Predators. Zadina for the Red Wings. Matthews on the Dazzlers for the Leafs. Dry Saddle for the Oilers. Kershia for Chicago. I think we just got an extra young gun in that box, which makes sense because we were short one um, yesterday. It, it, yeah, it, it might be politics. Like, I mean, honestly, some of it could be. Um, some of it also could just be resting for the playoffs too, but I doubt that, to be completely honest. Honestly, a likely scenario I can see is uh, a JT Miller for offering you a one for one for the type shenanigans. And honestly, if you're a Canucks fan, what you're hoping for is that the Rangers do like first, second round in the playoff, like they get to the second round in the playoffs without playing laugh a bunch and really sour on him. And then, uh, you know, pay surplus for him for JT Miller. That would be a really good scenario for the Canucks. So, and JT Miller, great player. That next contract just does not fit with this team. That next contract is one that is going to be expensive. Like, you've got to keep that really short term. Because, like, there's potential for him to be a bust. Like, to be a player you all of a sudden start looking at, like, hey, they're probably a bio candidate if things, like, do go south at all. So, but, like, right now, he's able to, like, just outscore all of his errors. So, For the young star hunting for like the Canucks, um, I mean every team's looking for young stars to add to their team, right? Panarin for the Rangers, like what team wouldn't want a good young player on their roster, right? Norris for the Senators, uh, Van Riemsdyk for the Flyers, but it also makes a lot of sense to. Uh, Ooh, there we go. Bunting for the Yotes. Actually, what's Bunting? Uh, just want to make sure I'm not missing him being extremely highly priced, but I forgot to check. All right, yeah, he's a sleeve and top load. 
I think he just scored too, actually. He's a Slavin, instant Slavin top load. So, hey, who would have thought if you had the Coyotes, you'd get a Slavin top load young gun? Because, uh, one's at like 26 on bids, 25. So there's some in like the 20 range. Kind of all over the place, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, not bad. Things you like to see. See, that's the thing with like a product like Extended is that if there is ever a really good young gun that pops up, they're going to be highly collected. Uh, Barzell on the Reflections to 300 for the Islanders. It's a cool card. Backstrom for the Capitals on the Dazzlers. Robertson for the Leafs. Uh, I mean, yeah, I think they're... So, Sundin in particular for the Canucks was honestly, like, one of my favorite signings because, A, we get to talk about Canucks legend uh, Matt Sundin, which, who doesn't want to talk about that? Um, is that a base pack? One, two, three... Or is this Vasilevsky a variation? I'm not sure. This isn't anything. This isn't anything. The Holtby, I don't think. I don't think the Vasilevsky is one. But let me double check. Sorry, it's, these are the most annoying variations to look up this year. Uh, but, like, I the Canucks are definitely looking at, like, getting younger, like getting players more in line with like Pedersen and Hughes age-wise. Uh, nope, not a variation. All right, and no French. Okay, that might have just been a base pack then, so. Well, there's a laugh for the Rangers. You do sometimes get a base pack in extended, so. Actually, they're about one per box, sometimes two. Laugh Retro Young Gun for the Rangers. Again, I think Laugh went from like an instant sell to a, hey, hold on to him now. So, kind of funny. Uh, Verbeek for the Habs. Kachuk for the Senators. This is to 1,000. Um, we'll put that up. Foot for the lightning. And I'm just gonna go back through and look through all these, make sure I didn't miss anything. Oop. So we drop Cam Talbot. It had been about around here. Make sure none of them are French on the back. That is not French. Just doing a double check. I want to make sure. Yep, nope, nothing there. So, and there's no, um, none of them were like suit variations or anything. So just a base pack. Cool. All right. Yeah, like I, I mean, I think the Canucks are making the right choice. Of obviously, going after young players who are good because that's kind of where you uh, that's what they need to do. They need to essentially like turn. They need to turn their JT Millers. Their, I mean. I'd be really hard pressed to trade Bo Horvat, but I don't think he's untradeable. This pack just doesn't want to open properly. There we go. Like, but if the right offer comes along, like if you're looking to trade like those types of players, um, to get players in that, you know, twenty to twenty three, twenty four, twenty five year old players, like right, like you're looking to get. 
you know, the JT Miller from three years ago on your team. You're looking to get the Bo Horvat from three years ago on your team. You don't want the current ones because they're going to age and like, there's nothing wrong with that. Especially, especially for Horvat because he is like an integral leader. Um, but like, I'm not saying that JT Miller isn't a leader, but um, I think Horvat's cap hit's going to be cheaper than Miller's. And I think player-wise long-term, I think Horvat might be... Eh, it's close. But yeah. I would... Uh, I would hope to see that um, like they make some of those changes. Like... I'd rather them see see them trade Miller before Besser, personally speaking. Just from a, like, I think Miller is right now the better player, but I think, you know, the player who's more likely to be the next JT Miller of this year is Brock Besser. Uh, Curse for Chicago, especially at, like, a more reasonable cap hit. That qualifying offer is obviously scary. So Callum Booth for the Bruins on the Young Guns. Banjet for the Rangers on the 0506. McDavid for the Oilers on the Ultimate Victory. Caprizov for the Wild on the Rookie Class. I don't know if that's a top sleeve, so I'll put it up there. Maltsev for the Devils. And another player to maybe keep an eye on. It was one of the players I had. Oh, French Maltsev for the Devils. One of the players that I had on my... Uh, Keep an eye on because they're going to Colorado, and if there's injuries, they might be one of the first call-ups. So, <laughs> honestly, I can, I I feel like that part is a little bit overplayed. Uh, Holt for LA, in the sense that like when the Canucks were really good, Terravine for the Hurricanes. When the Canucks were really good, they were able to attract whatever talent they wanted. Kershaw for Chicago. Brome for the Red Wings on the rookie class. And Zub for the Senators. So, eh, not a bad box of extended, honestly. Like, just think about it for a minute. Like, when the Canucks were good, they attracted the top free agents. Um, and it happens, it continuously happens. Like, if a team is good, you're more likely to get players to sign there. And if your team is good and someone wants to win, you're more likely to get a player on a cheaper cap hit than if your team is bad. Because it's not like Vancouver is a bad city. Um, like, it's a beautiful city. Real estate prices aside. Which, honestly, like, that can sometimes be a factor for players, but. Yeah, like. I think if you'd ask some players if they could live in a place where they could get a big house for cheap versus a small house for expensive, they would probably say big house for cheap type of thing. But, yeah interesting to see uh how it shakes down so yeah but, like the number one important thing to getting like to drawing a few more players to vancouver uh number one was a farm team farm team is huge because you're now a two-hour drive that's a big deal and that's why toronto was so like the least i hate that they got in trouble for letting like their, I think it was that they let their minor league players use their NHL facilities type stuff. And, like, people saw it as an unfair advantage. But it's like, honestly, like, if you're the league, you should be encouraging every team to do that. Because, guess what? That's how your players improve. And, like, hey, if your team doesn't want to do that, too bad. You lose that competitive advantage. Like, if a team wants to spend money to make the product on ice better probably allow that 
Like, if it was any other team outside of the Leafs, people would have been like, well, that's a really smart idea. But because it was the Leafs, it was just like, no, nah, it's the Leafs. They can't do that. That was honestly one of my favorite days of hockey Twitter. Uh, dry settle for the Oilers. Uh, keep lining for the Blue Jackets just because people like, just like, well, it's kind of unfair. And it's like, well, how is it unfair? The Rolier for the Panthers. Uh... Does Rosier, I've just messed up his name really badly, but Angelo for the Penguins on the jersey. But it's like, if you're a player, of course you're going to want to go to the team that pays you the most and the best and, like, gives you the best chance to develop. Ty Smith for the Devils. Like, why wouldn't you want to, right? Marner for the Leafs. off for the Blue Jackets and like for the Canucks having that farm team and like don't underestimate the role of getting like good depth players in here uh Perkins for the Jets but like for the Canucks having that farm team close by means that you can interact with them closely uh Lawrence for the Hurricanes you know you might get some more hometown players coming here Marchment for the Panthers on the retro and Long term, like it's probably going to be a good thing. Larmy for the Penguins. You know, it just gives you more flexibility. And that is, again, always a good thing. Bark off for the Panthers. So, I really think uh, the league as a whole needs to look into player development a little bit more. Because, again, like, if you're a team and you can spend, you know, you're already spending a lot of money on players and stuff. And it's, like, on salaries. And, like, the value that, you know, having a rookie on a – or, like, a player in, like, from their – in their 20s signed for less than what their actual value is. Like, the value of having the next McKinnon at – six million dollars or the next jt miller at five million dollars type of thing is so like it's it's worth so much money that like teams should be honestly putting a lot more money into stuff like that into like drafting research development like training nutrition and stuff like that like i think that's going to be one of the big areas that you'll see the teams that do it best will probably uh stay on top for the longest Because that's going to help players. Like, that's going to help them succeed. And it's going to draw players to those teams. So, I think I just said the same thing like 40 different ways. But you get the point. Zamula for the Flyers. Wolf for the Leafs. Skinner for the Oilers on the Young Guns. By the way, Stuart Skinner should be the starting goalie for the Oilers. Heaven for the Lightning on the award winner's red. That shouldn't have to be a hot take, but apparently it is. Bogansky for the Blues. Fabry for the Red Wings. Norris for the Senators. Lawrence for the Hurricanes on the Young Guns. Ingram for the Predators on the Portraits. Prisky for the Panthers. No French yet. Hellebuck for the Jets. Broberg for the Oilers. It's probably in the back here, I guess. Barzell for the Islanders. Did I just miss the French? don't think so. None of these were French. Not the right amount of young guns. Let me see. Leaves. Do, 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 do. Habs. Do 
Do we just not get a French? Like it's normally in this half. It's normally in whatever half you get the dazzlers in. So that's why I'm a little bit confused. That stuck there. There's like no street variations too. Sorry, it just feels like the French were really consistent in um twenty twenty in series two, so Oh I will None of them say French variation, so either I we just didn't get one or I missed it. Kings, penguins, Canucks. There it is, patch ready for Vegas on the French variation. Found them. Always hides. Well, it doesn't always hide. It. It's normally in plain sight, but I know. Like series two is re like was really consistent with that. Series one from this year, or extended from last year, or even like series one from last year was a little bit. No, the series one from last year is pretty consistent. It's just it was yeah me. So metal time. Here we go. One of my favorite products design-wise. Um, super fun and super rewarding. We'll try and save the PMG. If I see the PMG, we'll try and save it for the end. So here we go. Base, 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 base. Hack and Paw for the Ducks. Uh, Mitchell for Chicago and Huberto for the Panthers on the All-Stars. We'll save the PMG for the final hit, though, is what I was trying to say. So this is a retro. Cousins for the Sabres. Krebs for Vegas, Hellbuck for the Jets. Nice Cousins Retro. Not the highest value card. Actually, I don't even think the Krebs is, uh, Krebs is probably there. Ovechkin on the net deposits for the Capitals and Yossi for the Predators. The OV net deposits might be up there. Yeah, I love metal. It's Really nice product design wise. So, laugh for the Rangers, Anderson for the Leafs, and Evans for the Habs. There's our PMG. Byram for the Habs. Uh, Weber for the Habs and Nigel for the Sharks. Benson for the Oilers on the retro and Lozhagrim for the Leafs. Actually, that's probably here. I love those. The retros are so nice. And I know we were talking about it yesterday, but the OV one of one just recently got pulled, and that was like the big chase card. Gibson for the Ducks and Giordano for the Flames. Uh, is this clear? Okay, is it clear? It's a clear cut. We'll go to it. It's not gold. Uh, Keith for Chicago on the hardware. Stall and Stutzel on the rookies. The clear is the same color as like the. Uh, the gold, so it's a little bit tough to tell sometimes. Ooh, this is nice. Uh, McDavid dries it all on the alliance. That's a good one. I just covered up the sleeves with the packs. That's a good one for the Oilers. Uh, 
I love, these are one of my favorite inserts. Yule Levy for the Canucks and Hedman for the Lightning. Turkoff for the Blue Jackets and Markstrom for the Canucks. Should still have our auto. Eichel for the Sabres, uh, Carlson for the Capitals, and Romanov for the Habs. Uh, Romanov might be in that top top slot. Um, Marchand for the Bruins, and McMichael for the Capitals. Rask for the Bruins, and Bromay for the Red Wings. So this should be an auto, unless the PMG is also an auto. Oh, this is an auto. Uh, Coughlin for Vegas on the auto. Broberg for the Oilers, and Kachuk for the Senators. Coughlin's not the worst, but in terms of like tiers, he's probably like if you know you're on an A to like A to E tier, it's probably like a C minus type of player. Never really going to have a big collector following, but we'll be an NHL for a little bit, so. All right. Those put to the side. And I'll, I'll probably include the base in, from that as well, so. The base is nice. All right, Premiere, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Let's have some fun. This is box 23 and 03. I think we're gonna end there. Oh yeah, we're ending there. We're ending there. That is uh, definitely the card we're ending on. Uh, Suitor for the Wild, we'll go to the back. Evans for the Habs. It's a Suitor 299, 222 of 299. Next up, Sharon Govich for the Devils to 65 on the rookie gold. Ooh, nice RPA. Uh, Kalia for the Kings to 149. Nice one there for the Kings. Uh -huh. uh, rookie auto of Vanishak for the Capitals. Good rookie auto, too. And this is just gorgeous. Uh, for the Arizona Coyotes, Christian Fisher, Fisher sorry, on the uh, Mega Patch number to six. So nice little. Uh, Big jumbo patch from the shoulder there for the Coyotes. I think that's Adam. Yeah. Hey, who would have thought, you know, before the break, if you would have said, hey, Coyotes will get two of the best hits. You'll, uh, <laughs> everyone would have been like, nah, that's not happening. Maybe in other years, but not this year, but nope. Here they are. So we'll get these uh, sleeved up. That was a pretty, honestly, like a pretty solid box of premium. Not the, like, name-wise, not 100% the best, but we hit our best RPA so far. Like, calio has been the best, and it's kind of not close. Um, the Sharon Govich gold is decent. Like, he's a good player. Vanacek's not bad. A good mega patch that's low-numbered is always nice. So, a uh, quick little recap. That'll be the hit of the break. Uh, that goes there. Something like that. All right, quick recap. Uh, Maltev for the, oh, the PMG. How could I forget? Thank you. Burns for the Sharks. Sorry, I totally blanked on that. Uh, number 30 and Sagan for the Stars. So one problem with setting cards aside. <laughs> Burns for the Sharks. Thank you for reminding me. I would have picked up on it. Just been like, it's random base cards. It's 100. 
for the Sharks. Who had the Sharks? Steven. So, I was like, wait, didn't... I, like, as we were going through the recap, I'm just like, I think I'm missing something. Because, like, it actually went through my mind. It's like, didn't we have a PMG? And then, like, you had it in chat, and it's like, oh, perfect. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, Burns PMG to 100. We saved it to the end. Uh, Maltsev on the French variation. Bunting for the Yotes. Uh, Coughlin for Vegas. McDavid and Drysdale on the Lions. Um, we got the rookie uh, auto of Vanacek from Premier. The Laugh from uh, Extended on the Retro. The Kaliev and the Head of the Break. The Fisher patch for the Yotes. So, yeah, sorry. I totally forgot about that. This, I need to put them here. I need to put them here next time. But, yeah, uh, that's it for uh, the break. Um, I, again, I'll try and get the metal base included in that as well. Um, yeah, so I don't know what's on tap for next week. Maybe, depending on how much ultimate we got in, maybe some ultimate. Um, yeah, I think we got two boxes of Premier left. We got, I think, we don't have a ton of Skybox left. We honestly, like, don't have a ton left, so it might be a smaller mixer, but we'll see. Um, there are 14 spots left in basketball if you are interested in that as well. But yeah, anyways, take care, have fun, have a good long weekend, and I'll see you next week. Peace.